<laughs> Syracuse lost their head coach, Dino Babers. Uh, yeah, I was with Dino um, my last two years. My first two years was with, with Scott Schaefer. Um, my last two was with Dino Babers, man. They fired him. I didn't realize he had been there for eight years. Eight seasons, bro. Damn. Bro, and we, uh, am I that old? Yeah, bro. I was there when he got there. Yeah, bro. We've been out there for a minute, bro. I can't believe that shit. That shit, man, everybody, we, that niggas hit the chat. Like, my, my teammates and shit hit the chat like, damn, eight years? Yeah. 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 We out. Yeah. We been out, gang. Yeah. It's been that's a long ass time, man. I ain't gonna lie. I feel like I don't know. That's a that's a good amount of time. It's kind of fucked up though, because we were supposed to go to the game, so we were supposed to go to Atlanta. We saw Syracuse play Georgia Tech in Atlanta, so we mm-hmm. were supposed to pull up to the game. Mm-hmm. Um, all that fell through, and then they end up losing the Tech. Uh, man, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I, it's hard. It's hard. It's hard to see only because I I I. I we get I, gotta, it. I got a pot. I got. I got to let it go, huh? Yeah, I mean, we get it. We, we in get it. it. We get I it. mean, I get it. I, I get where I get where they're coming from now. Let me just say this first. Like, I fuck with Dino, bro. Like, me and Dino got a a, a great personal relationship. Like, For you sure. know what I'm saying? Like, I'm be honest. He was the first black head coach I've had. Well, I ain't gonna say I've had I'm in little league and shit, but um, at, at least that, like at that level, me? Yeah, at, high that, at that type of level. At to me, shit level. like that be a big deal for me. I ain't gonna lie, dude. Yeah. And I feel like you know, what I mean, me and him built a personal relationship. You know, especially after I left. Now I know. He ain't everybody's favorite. You know what I'm saying? He got a lot of a lot of people on my team that was celebrating and tap dancing on the girl on the grave. Yeah. Uh, I mean, but to be honest, you know, it's the business of war. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, casualty of war sometimes. Like when a new sure. head coach come in, they gonna like who they like, right, wrong, or indifferent. Um, they gonna they don't feel like they want you to move forward, they gonna get you out of here. That's how college is. They got that's the power that they got over them young men. It ain't a Dino thing. That's a system thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Shout out to shout out to my dog, K-Dot. Shout out to uh, Daddy Two Links. Yeah, shout out to my Our line brother. He yeah. ended up uh, getting him off the team. He man, was Texas. the nigga good he enough to it. hold the coaching job? That's what you want to know, bro. He's I mean. He said I'm skating. Yeah, well, I mean, no, no, no. I mean, it's because it's a, for sure. I mean, I mean, it's a part. Let me say this. I feel like, I feel like. He had, they basically had plateaued. But I feel like it's just a tough situation when you, mm-hmm. when you watching as a fan and as alumni, and he start 5-0 and last year. Mm-hmm. They should have beat Clemson on the road. Great game. And they lose. And then they lose five in a row. You're like, well, how the fuck is this team that was good enough to beat the ACC champion, mm-hmm. literally was winning the whole game, not win again for four weeks? Yeah, not one more game. And then this one week, more. this year, it was like they start off 4-0. and They wasn't ranked. They was like 26, though. They was like one more win. They were number one defense in the country, all kind of shit. Mm-hmm. And then, again, you lose to Clemson. Yeah, at home. And th- it, at home, in terrible it fashion. wasn't a good performance, yeah, honestly. And then fashion. it was just like, and fashion. then from there, it's like, y'all lose four or five in a row. Yeah. Why y'all keep going on these weird-ass losing streaks after looking so good and so dominant for so long? Now, look, he had injuries and shit like that play a role in it, but yeah. I mean, I feel like it was just a move to make at the time, bro. I feel like Syracuse is going through our identity change, though. You know, mm-hmm. obviously, I feel like with losing Bayheim, it's basketball season going on. Uh, and now I'm kind of moving on from Babers. I feel like they kind of getting a little bit of a facelift in the two sports. But my only thing is, and it's crazy because I uh, I saw Matt Rule actually say this. Uh, Matt Rule, the head coach for Nebraska, he recruited me back in Temple. But he said basically just like you want to go to a you want, as a head coach you want to go to a school that's you know giving the coach the amount of resources they need to be successful. Like we in the ACC, we playing against Florida State, we playing against Clemson, we playing against mm-hmm. Louisville, yeah. and like okay, is these schools. I guess investing as much as Bama, no, but this is Power Five, bro. Like this ain't the Pac-12. Yeah. Like the the, the Pac-12 folded and went underneath. Like it's a lot of realignment and shit going on. If you want to stay lit, you got to get lit. Yeah. And to get lit, what you got to put that paper up, bro. Yeah. You got to invest. You got to give your coaches that type of uh, resources. We didn't lost like three, four tough ass players. From that last year team so because portal. of NIL. Yeah, NIL in the portal, yeah. Yeah, young boys going to Ohio State, young boys going to LSU. You got to do good enough to not only recruit, but you got to keep, keep these them. niggas there the full time. You got to give mm-hmm. niggas the tools and the resources to be successful, bro. Yeah. So that's my only thing. Like, I definitely feel like, did he come short? Yeah, he did. You know what I'm saying? And guess what? I think that move was probably the best for both of them because at a certain point, it was kind of like they was only going to go but so far with him mm-hmm. and then – he wasn't going to get no much more leverage, no more, more support for from the organization or from the fans. So it was just kind of like, look, it, it was the best thing to happen for the mo- for the movement. But at the same time, moving into this next round, we got to get serious about what the fuck we really want as a school. Come on. Like, I'm saying, like, we you playing against these schools, you playing, you watch how 
Pitt having a dominant program for like three, four years help elevate their program. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Help elevate the shit they got going on. It's a football driven uh, school. University. Yeah, I mean, school. like, well, basketball, football is a money getting uh, like, is rep, like uh, uh, fucking investment. Yeah. yeah. Like, mm-hmm. you getting your bread back. You playing against these top teams. You got first round talent in your fucking building. Every, every Saturday. Week. Yeah, every mm-hmm. week. So, like, at that, and y'all putting guys out. It's like, my thing is, like, now, like, when I was in the college, we didn't really have nobody in the league. We had Chandler Jones. Yeah. We yeah. had Pew. They put it on. It was falling off. Niggas was, we was, we was getting light. Shout out to Bromley, but it was getting light. Yeah. Now it's me, Cisco. Uh, shout out to my dog, uh, uh, Kings, uh, uh, out in Buffalo. Oh, Jonathan. Yeah, yeah. Jonathan, yeah. Shout, yeah. shout out to the game. We got, we got multiple guys out in the league. We got the young boys who went first round. Shout out Garrett Williams. He been cooking. Yeah. Out yeah. in Arizona. Arizona. He, like, he want to be young K. Moski. He called yeah. me too. Shout out to young Garrett Williams. Yeah. But it's like, bro, we got shit to build off of, but it's like, all right, how are we finna take it? We finna just be good enough or we gonna really go for it and try to be one of them teams. And I feel like that's a that's a that's a the top game. Yeah. I mean, but I just I don't know. Um it it's it just it just asks the, the question every time is that like what name wants to land in upstate New York? Prime, fuck it, no. <laughs> what land wants to come? What what what, what name is gonna land? In, I said that in the training room. Niggas looked at me. Oh my! Yeah, I don't know how the fuck I. Act. I mean, it's kids up north who. Prime. I mean, it's kids up north who who like grew up in that. It's ballers in New York. Yeah, yeah. you know no, what, what I'm mean? saying. Like as far as like coaches, like oh, what, coaches. Yeah, like what name is gonna want to land? I heard Sean Lewis. Okay. I don't know if you know Sean Lewis. Sean Lewis was the offensive coordinator when uh, when I was there. Uh, he came in with Dino. He was cooking. He ended up leaving. He became Kent State's head coach. Uh, they competed for a MAC championship. I know it's a MAC. Nobody gives a fuck. I get it. But he he competed for a championship. He then he spun that. Was the offensive coordinator out there in Colorado with Prime yeah. and was cooking it up with Shador. Now he was the first one to fall on the, on the sword uh, out there. But shit, I think he would be great for the program. He was sharp. Be yeah. familiar with it. He a Midwest guy. It's just like you got to like. I feel like when you're trying to hire a head coach for college, it's less about the name and who's going to understand and fit the culture of the school, bro. Mm. Like that college head coach marriage is a little different. You need somebody that's at least in them or from them recruiting areas. That's from that. You feel me? Or you're going to become like a little stepping stool, bro. And that's mm. not what you want to do. Because I feel mm-hmm. like Syracuse is just it's got too big of a, a name brand, uh, too much history. Uh, and too much of a premier conference, and too much too much talented to be a school to where you know uh, coaches will come, uh, yeah, you know, get their shit off, yeah. spin up for get an eight win season, and then try to go sprint a, a big money getter like uh, Nebraska or, yeah. or for the Ole Miss. Yeah. You don't want one of them niggas. That, like that's that shit like mm. that will leave your program in, in fucking obscurity too. Like in, in the uh, the fuck is that shit called purgatory as well. Yeah. I mean, but that's you what the younger coaches are doing now. Like it's not. Yeah, but not if you get somebody that, that you been know, around. You feel me? That understand, understand what it, the yeah. fuck we got going on, bro. And that's one thing. I look, man. They, they gonna say I'm bump, but that's one thing I commend Dino for though. Dino got there, turned the program around, popped the 10 win season. They was Could've all left. saying that he was going to leave, go yeah, to AM, go yeah. And he didn't. He stayed, he yeah. doubled down. Yeah. And he, he was did. trying to build it and be there. He always said that he felt like he was supposed to be there. Yeah. So I respect him for that because he could have pulled that play, but he did. Yeah, he did. I mean, before yeah. a program who not really, like you said, not really giving an investment or whatever like that, that's needed for the program to be solid. Shit, if I come in and I get my tail in. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing that that's the case, I'm a. All right. I'm a parlay. Yeah, I'm if y'all a parlay, using yeah. the football team as a stepping stool or whatever like that, y'all not putting investments into the university to flourish, then where I'm gonna end up at? Eight. That's you true. feel what I'm saying? Well, they, My they, they, ten they, win they, ain't gonna mean nothing if y'all don't invest in it and I go. You feel me? And lose five. Yeah. And like I, I mean I I don't know. It's just like. I don't know. They, they lost a lot of assistant coaches saying that they can't retain them. It's just like, yeah, bro, like, like that's bullshit. My, I, just, I don't know. I don't get it, man. I don't get it. I feel like, you know, for Syracuse, like, you got, I don't, I don't get it. Like, I mean, I know we football players, that's all the fuck we care about, but bro, you just see what football is doing for some of these schools, bro. Like, mm-hmm. it do so much for everything that you do. Everybody eats when football and basketball eats, bro. Yeah. So I like, looked at Syracuse as a basketball. I hate when they say that, but I get it. I hate that shit. Nah, no disrespect to it. it it I'm looking at it. No, no, for sure. I look at it as a basketball force, but then again, you feel what I'm saying? Y'all do got the history of... uh, Floyd Little. Yeah, Jim Brown Brown and all that type stuff. So it's like... But like it kind of transferred into basketball. Just because where y'all at, though. 
I'm man. dragging my day with yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Put my hand on the Raptors, man. You know what I mean? Get my man up nah, there. Nah, yeah, but I mean, I just, yeah. I don't know. It's fucked up. I mean, we lost the head coach, man. I like, I'm just, and I said this before too. I got motherfuckers, coaches that I don't fuck with, coaches that I, I feel like I would never play for again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I don't celebrate no man getting fired, bro. At all. That's I just, tough. I can't, mm. in me, like, I don't know, maybe I haven't been done wrong enough. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> but I just kind of look at it like, look, bro, like, everybody got decisions to make in a certain situation. And I don't, I'm never going to celebrate somebody losing mm. their job, bro. Because in the, the day, he got to take care of his family. Now, I know he made millions of dollars. He's going to be okay. Nigga been coaching since, like, goddamn 90, 80, whatever the fuck. He was in, like, the pack. He, I talked to Dino. He's been pack coaching eight? for a long ass fucking time. Wow. Did yeah, he like, pack eight? Yeah, he was over oh, there. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Wow, Hawaii, okay. all kind of shit. Yeah, so, yeah, them yeah. college coaches okay. be all over the place. But, yeah, yeah I ain't celebrating that. And I, and I mean, again, I just don't, I don't feel that. I'm not that type of energy. Like, if somebody yeah. lose their shit, I, don't, I just don't think. Look, the, the thing that I want to, because I feel like we do want to not put in the pressure on, obviously, like the coach in the situation, but the pressure, I believe, for me, myself as an alumni, is, is on the ADs. Find, find the right guy. That is your job. Your job is to find the right right person for the situation, bro. Because yeah. like I said, we do want to see the Orange win. I do want to keep seeing them win, bro. 